let's take a look at this animation. We have a button, and when we press on that button, there is an animation that takes in effect in the background, and it is be inside the button and in between the text and the background of the button. In terms of a breakdown, we can see that there's likely a single animated value that's animating from, say, 0 to 1, and that is having an interpolation for a different view that covers the background here. Then we can see that there is a width interpolation, and likely we have a view that is top, left, and bottom of 0, and then we interpolate the width. And then at the very end, we can see that it fades out. So that's likely going to be a secondary animation, an animated value. So there's likely two animated values here, one for the background color and the width, and then a second to execute after the animation is completed to fade out that particular um, progress bar.